in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create this and at the same time how to highlight multiple muscle group in final cut pro without any photoshop let's get started in this very tutorial we're going to highlight these two biceps muscles but you can repeat the same steps and highlight as many as you can so assume you have your video on your timeline to make everything easier for ourselves let's rename this main video as you can see i've already done that then go to where you want the effect to start from somewhere here will be okay with my shift h to freeze the frame then drag this side to the length you want the effect to last now make a duplicate of your main video by pressing option or alt and dragging upwards command R to bring the real time editor out so we know exactly where we freeze the frame. Drag this side to where the freeze frame starts from. Do the same with the ending part. We just want the freeze frame part. Click on the duplicate video we created. Go to your right side of the software. We're going to play around the parameters over there. Go under color inspector. Click on this drop down menu and select curve. With preserve luma, deselect that. Then go to your blue channel turn that down go to green repeat the same thing and usually we use the red color to highlight the muscles now go back to your timeline with the duplicate video we make another duplicate of that again press option or alt and drag upwards and to make everything easy for ourselves let's rename the two top duplicates that we have so with the top one rename it right biceps do the same thing for the down one rename clip left biceps now disable the left biceps the one in the middle by pressing v we just want to work with the right biceps for now so with that go to your effect browser side go to mask choose draw mask and drag and drop on your right biceps now this what you do we're going to draw around his right biceps and i will be fast with this but when you're doing this just take your time to get it really nice and clean and at the meantime, if you want to know more about the masking tool, I'll leave a card up here. It will make your life easy when you know and understand what the masking tool is all about. And after drawing the masking tool, if you want to change the shape, you can right click that and choose smooth. With the smooth, let's say if you want to have a smooth curve around his shoulders right over here, it's going to make it easy for you to have that curve around it compared to the linear shape go to your feather let's drop that to minus 30 there about we just want to soften the edges it makes it look so cool now disable that by pressing v go to your left biceps press v to enable it then we'll do the same steps with that go to your effects browser side under mask you choose draw marks drag and drop on your left biceps then draw around his right bicep ready drop the feather down so we soften the edges now go to your right biceps press v to enable it now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like and from here you can just play around the blend mode usually i go with soft light so from here you're done with how to highlight multiple muscle group now let's go straight to how to achieve the intro video you saw earlier on let's go straight to it make a compound clip of the right and the left biceps name it biceps still on the biceps go to the very first frame go to your right side of the software you want to make some keyframes under position so make keyframe over there go 10 frames forward make another keyframe under position now go to your last but one frame make another keyframe then go back 10 frames make another keyframe there now this is what you do go use this arrow to go to the very first keyframe you made by pressing that two times or also you can use the drop down menu and just go previous go previous again and it's going to take you to the very first keyframe we made so with that we work around the exercises just drag it to your left side till it disappear from the screen so somewhere here it's okay i'll play and show you guys how it looks like it comes in from the left so now go to your last keyframe you made use this arrow let's go to the last one then work around the x axis again this time around drag it to your right side till it disappear from the screen now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like now the next step go to your effect browser side on the light choose flashing light we're going to use that effect for this very tutorial and i'll show you guys as you can see it gives this flashy light and it's so strong at 100 so this is what you do turn it down to somewhere three to five 
think 3 will be okay with this tutorial. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. It comes in and it blinks a little bit. Now with that, with the biceps, this is what you do for the next steps. It's really, really important. Go to the main video on your timeline. B to bring the blade tool out. Cut at where the freeze frame starts from. Go to the ending part, make a cut over there too. Let's bring the real time editor out so we know exactly where the freeze frame is. Command R for that. Make a duplicate of that, press Option, Alt, and drag upwards. Now let's rename that so we don't get ourselves confused. So with this, name it Cut Out. Then select the biceps and the main video. Press V to disable that. We don't need that for now. Click on the Cut Out. We're going to work with that. Go to your effects section side. Go to mask, choose draw mask and drag on your cut out. Now we just want to cut him out from the background. I'll be fast with this, but when you're doing it, just take your time to get it nice and clean. Now it's ready. That was really a terrible one, but yeah, when you're doing it, just take your time to really get it nice. Then go to your feather, just drop it down so we just soften the edges. Then click on the biceps and the main video, press V to enable that. Now we need it to show. This is what you do for the next step. Select the main video, go to the right side of the software. With that, we go to color inspector. Click on this drop down menu and then select color wheels from there. We just want to desaturate the colors behind him. So we just use the global and then turn it down. Turn the saturation down under global. Then with the luminous, we just increase that. We just want it to really brighten behind him. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. Now there's one cool thing to do with this to really get a zoom in. With that, you go to your left side of the software, you select your adjustment layer. If you don't have that, I will leave it in the description box below for you guys. And I hope by now you know what an adjustment layer is. If you don't, I'll leave a video card here. It's really, really important to just know exactly why you need an adjustment layer in Final Cut Pro. So with that, I'll just make a cut over here. I just need this very short part. Click on the adjustment layer. Go to your video inspector side. We're going to make some keyframes. With scale all, make a keyframe over there. Then go 10 frames forward. Make another keyframe under scale all. Now go to your last part one frame. Still on an adjustment layer. Make a keyframe there. Then go back 10 frames and make another keyframe. This time around, we'll change that to 120. Then go to the second keyframe by using this arrow or using the drop down menu. Click on previous and it's going to take you to the second keyframe we made. There we'll change that to 122. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. Now if you want to know more about Final Cut Pro, you can click on that. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.